happy morning to all of you morning. happy morning uh, my name is malika arjuna i am a resource person today and the topic that is being given to me is to speak on confidence building so uh, they have asked me to take till 12:30 May maybe we will have to give a break what is your break time 11:15 11 o'clock theek hai sir then uh, i would like to start off with what is called as confidence building uh when we speak on this subject for the age and experience what you have i don't think so anybody needs to be tutored on how to build confidence but whenever we attend a personality development sessions together everybody achieves more so in that context what happens when i try to re relive my entire life and ask myself where all i did not do right and where all i did right that becomes an experience and exposure that which i can share with people so in simple terms if i need to say what is confidence uh, let us take certain actions and then we will try to uh, work on how do we define this confidence immediately i'll make an announcement i think after this we will have a small uh, swimming practice uh, all of us will have to go to the swimming pool few of you will hesitate to get into the swimming pool because of lack of confidence in terms of swimming if i am talking about the confidence you are not ready to come and make an attempt to swim because few of you do not know how to swim that could be one of the reason so whenever we talk about confidence confidence depends on what is that you want to execute and how much of experience you have in that execution that you are doing right now if i ask all of you you will have to come on the dais and you will have to speak on a particular topic the same topic how do we improve confidence i want each and every one of you to put across one one point it is not that all of you don't want to come but there will definitely be an hesitation to come on the dais because there is what is called as lack of confidence so after one person comes and he is able to speak and he has done good once the second person comes he was able to speak and he has done good and slowly the confidence starts building up in every one of you and there would never be any person who would say i don't want to do for today you will say i will do it and you will come and slowly the confidence has been building up and finally you see i think i am confident enough i can go there and then to perform so whatever actions we perform when we do not have an experience of it we always ask ourselves am i confident enough but when we have an experience of it i will not ask myself am i confident enough because i know because i have done it earlier i can always continue to do it in future works now in your day to day life because you are in a working environment you are working for navy when we talk about interpersonal relationship with the colleagues interpersonal relationship with your subordinates and your interpersonal relationship with your seniors in most of these places confidence plays a very important role it is not that all of you are not eligible to become a manager or a project leader or get a promotion but only that person gets a promotion because that person who got a promotion he consistently started exhibiting what is called as confidence in every action what he did today a simple way of explaining i am interested in the class and i had to come to the class because i wanted to learn something about it if this confidence has to be exhibited from each and every one of you most of you should have come here by 9 only and you should have been ready for the class at 9:30 it's a simple discipline and whenever there is any kind of an opportunity that knocks your door can one of you come and introduce everybody so, so that all of us will know what you are the person who raises his hand first and he says i would like to come that means this confidence level is high the person who came much before time his confidence is high the person who raised his hand for every opportunity his confidence is high and these people get noted in every situation and slowly they start getting a recognition and only that personality becomes a captain that personality gets a promotion rest of you will work but the promotion will only be given to that person who expresses confident it comes to a simple uh, we will call it as a human nature that you will have to exhibit we will say one of our colleague has met with an accident and we need blood who is ready 
all of you think but when one person raises the hand and slowly we may need two more slowly the other two will raise the hand but the first person who raised his hand we call him as confident and others we say you're not that confident you took time to express confidence so what we say courageous is not that i'm afraid or i'm not afraid this definition will never come irrespective of whatever the situation is a fear is always there but with that fear when i encounter situation that is when we actually say you are courageous i know which bullet is going to hit me i really don't know if i knew which bullet it's going to hit me then i can be pre prepared but i don't know which bullet is going to hit me when i am guarding my india and knowing that i go daringly there stand with lot of confidence telling them come what may i am not going to let you in that daringness can also be called as confidence so how do we define as a confidence confidence is your body language of telling to the outside world i can handle this confidence is a body language and expression of yourself which you are telling to yourself i am confident i can do this and this is very very important as a leader i'll just take few examples and i'll start explaining you this uh what is confidence building we will try to work on that how our human nature slowly starts building up confidence even among kids also you take one kid and you want to teach him swimming it does not work but you take the entire lkg students and then say we will go for swimming and put them into just a one feet water where they can comfortably walk if you take him all alone he cannot when you take them as a team they can always because by looking at each other confidence develops so may i ask you please please uh, sir that means uh, confidence can be called as self believing uh it's a belief system also when i say i strongly believe i can go on the dais and then give a good show that belief system is also confidence confidence is also i'm ready to take up whatever the results comes positively that is also confidence so for that i would be taking up few examples see when modi had to introduce gst which was supposed to be done 10 15 years back look at the confidence that he had why you require more confidence there because if something fails you should be ready to volunteer and say i was a person who took up this and all the failure has to be put on to me or you courageous enough to accept failure and then when you are ready to accept that failure then we say you are confident person for that confidence most of the earlier prime minister miserably failed when somebody comes and hits us in pulwana attack it requires great courage or it requires a great belief system and it also requires great confidence to take up that measure we will do if they have invaded us and agar un logon ne ghus ke hame mara hai hum bhi ghus ke hi unhe marenge that requires confidence it's not going to be an easy task because what could be the consequence if something happens to these people who went there people are going to speak so many things about it am i courageous enough when a failure comes i will welcome it with the same attitude and also when a uh, positive happens that means when a hit happens i am ready to accept it in the same attitude that is where confidence plays a role i'll take up one or two examples and we will start explaining what is confidence building why confidence building is required how to be confident how to build confidence importance of confidence building right from the childhood confidence has been built to us so that we start taking up the next and the next steps first type of confidence building is when the mom as we will assume that you just came out of your mother's womb you feel like you are in an helpless world because all these years you breathed in the water just like a fish all of a sudden you need to breathe natural air that's fine but when you are doing that you are not trying you are trying to feel your mother and your mother is no more there with that uncomfortableness you shout on the top of your voice that is when the doctor says you uh, give it to our mother let her mother hold the baby towards her heart because he can recognize his mother's heart and slowly he will start feeling confident that i am in the comfort zone only i am in a place where i am in a safe zone only so people seek for that comfortableness it could be very uh, stupid but all of us seek for comfort zones uh, let me take up one more example if somebody has invited you for a marriage 
when you get into the marriage hall, all our eyes will be watching for one such known person because when you go there, everybody, is, none of them is familiar to you. And where nobody is familiar, you don't want to go to that marriage. Even before going to marriage, you call 10 people and say, hey, I'm going to that place, my marriage, will you join me? Hey, no, 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 I'm busy. If you're not joining, I will also not go. You keep. Then you remember he came personally home and he invited me for, for the marriage. You don't want to miss. So again, you call one more person or you come into the marriage, he also says no. You're hesitant to go because you don't have that confidence. Is that word confidence in this wrong place? No, it is in the right place. You are seeking for that comfort zone. You are seeking for that confidence in order to go there. But somehow you push yourself and when you enter the marriage hall, your eyes is looking for somebody who is known to you and you find that parallel road to you. One more house was there and there was one man whom you saw once or twice while you were walking and you never spoke to him. For the first time you see him, you feel like, Abba, I've come to a... I have recognized one known person and you go up to him, that person also will be seeking for somebody else who is known to him. Both of you meet and you will start talking because in that world where nobody was known, you start feeling comfortable when you see that one picture which you were familiar with. So confidence is telling you that you are experiencing something familiar. When the confidence comes low, it is just expressing you that you are experiencing something which you are not familiar. Or if I put it in another terms, when you are experiencing fear, confidence comes down. When you are not experiencing fear, confidence is high. What is the definition of a fear? Fear is you are trying to experience something for the first time. If you try and experience the same experience multiple times, there is no fear. Fear of public speaking. All of us know one of the biggest fear what all of us have is fear of public speaking. But if I have been coming onto the dais multiple times and I have been talking, I have been communicating, slowly I will start feeling I am fearless. The moment I am fearless, if somebody asks, are you confident today to go on the dais and speak? Hey, I am very confident because I have done more than 100 such public speaking seminars. So, practice actually takes away that inconfidence and actually dumps what is called as confidence. So we will talk about how to build your confidence, importance of confidence building and we will take up one or two examples and we will try to associate. See for a coach who is already very confident about himself to build up that confidence in the team and then bring them together and to win a world cup was not an easy task at all but he was capable of doing because he knew the tricks how to build confidence in each and every one of them. So that, that, that is one. Next, when we talk about this movie, maybe it is not a true story, but the entire movie is going to project about how he could ignite confidence in every one of them, how he could ignite confidence in each other, in each and every one of them, and only then they could actually capture that cup in both the cases. One, all of them should trust each other. That is also very important. Yesterday's World Cup final, when the ball has been passed, the confidence of the person who passes the ball and his confidence on the player who receives the ball, both put together will equate whether the goal is going to be successful or not. The moment I feel that guy is not confident, he may not catch the ball, the moment I know he is not going to catch the ball, either I will try to take it myself or I will try to look for somebody else. Within that fraction of a second, few microseconds, the ball will be out of your reach. So, football is a match which always talks about confidence. When I am actually hitting that goal post, there are 20,000 eyes which are watching you and you will have to hit and hit a goal. Look at the level of confidence you need. And for that goalie also, look at the level of confidence he needs. But it is always being told, the confidence of the kicker is high than the confidence of the goalie because technically speaking, the goalie, if he really wants also, as a goalkeeper, he can only safeguard half of the net. He can never safeguard full of the net. So his guessing and his confidence level will have to be a making guess where is he going to hit the ball. Only if he can make that guess, he can always save the goal. Otherwise, he will never be able to save the goal. So when we talk about confidence, 
even our entire marriage all of us are married but after marriage it is a continuous process of managing that relationship when we need to continuously manage that relationship also you require to build confidence among each other your wife should start feeling confident about you you should start feeling confident about your wife and you you should start feeling confident about your children and your children will have to start feeling confident about you they will start sending some signals and based on that your confidence will be defined like what is the tendency in india mera bachcha bahut acha padhta hai agar bahut acha padhta hai to i will put him into science curriculum how do you define that you saw his marks you saw his confidence level when you asked him multiple times what do you want to become he always had his uh, uh, goals set very high and it was perfectly set and there was no changes at all his confidence of acquiring that was so clear as a parent you were also very confident he will do that let me take up an example of tendulkar for a father and a mother to volunteer and tell even the son it's okay if you are giving up your studies you can continue with cricket look at what kind of confidence he would have exhibited to his parents because the same tendulkar as an elder brother who is a scholar he is a phd holder and an younger brother gives up his studies at the age of 90 but the confidence what the parents saw in him they knew his elder brother will definitely become successful but tendulkar will become was successful that is what was their prediction because his conviction towards that was so high that right from the childhood you knew his confidence even when we talk about this great uh, scholar or we will call him as an astronaut or one of the best president abdul kalam as a son of a fisherman the mother and the father both of them knew that this boy is not going to remain ordinary the way he was convicted the way he expressed his confidence in every action what he performed his goal was set and there was no confusion at all i want to become an astronaut right from the childhood he, everybody were looking in the ocean this guy was looking up the ocean and he always wanted to be an astronaut and he became one because his confidence was so strong day by day day by day day by day his confidence became much much more stronger so your confidence also gets associated with your conviction your confidence also gets associated with the goal your confidence also gets associated with pleasure and pain see where confidence building is required if i want to make you sit in this class and attend this class for next one hour confidence building is required but to have a breakfast do you think i love to build up a confidence no breakfast is a pleasurable experience everything that is pleasurable you don't require confidence automatically comes to wake up early in the morning at 4 o'clock which is a painful experience you require confidence you need require motivation you require lot of confidence building but when you have to sleep longer early in the morning you don't require confidence so confidence is been played by god by giving you initial pains and initial pleasures what we think we get attracted to initial pleasures but we don't know all that initial pleasures will lead to what is called as permanent pain i don't want to exercise every day i am also 50 most of you are nearing 50 plus or minus what is very important one of the verticals that we will have to follow day in day out exercising and keeping ourselves healthy and fit because the next few years whatever we are going to spend we need to live an healthy life for our next Five years to be comfortable, and next five years you will have to live that healthy living, eating, drinking, sleeping, everything in a right manner, so that our next five years will be fruitful. We know this. So I give you a simple definition: to stay healthy, get up early in the morning before the sun rises, what we call Brahmi Mahurta, and do the most important part of your life. For 50 plus, the most important part of our life is exercising or performing yoga. Everything is told. but you will never develop confidence to actually push yourself outside sometimes confidence will outburst when will it outburst you go to a doctor and the doctor says are yaar agar kal se walking jaoge na to do pair mein jaoge agar kal se walking nahi jaoge na ek mahine ke baad aapka last walk rahega with eight legs jab everybody will be carrying you and they will be saying are ram are ram are ram 
so what is happening when such a definition comes from a doctor tomorrow no confidence is required but you will always be ready to wake up and then perform but that is not the right prevention is always better than cure so let us look at few confidence building exercises which i wanted to share so here for this coach first challenge was building up confidence in them that they can always play next is building a confidence in them that they will like to play as a team because only it is a team performance so if they are not going to work as a team they will fail miserably if you have watched the movie seriously there were sometimes in the movie where people were playing playing individually when somebody asks why are you playing individually she, she says i am more confident when i have the ball in my hand and i am very confident i will touch the goal but i am not ready to give my ball to somebody else because i am not confident that she will be able to hit the goal what i am expecting she will be able to perform and continue and finish it's going to be a very uh, difficult task but if you are capable of doing that that is the beauty of the team that is when we call the team is beautiful so the same chatte india team initially were working individually because they did not believe in each other and slowly they started trusting each other they started expressing confidence among each other and you started seeing the results became better and better and better and sometimes expressing confidence with the leader also is very important we'll take up one simple example uh when for the first time 2020 world cup had to be uh, taken up india had to send their team for the first 2020 world cup when we talk about india india never had an experience just like it has among us experience of playing ipl india never had an experience of playing 2020 game so the challenge was to select a captain who is ready to lead who will be captaining the person who has highest level of confidence otherwise he cannot say i want to be a captain why if he wins beautiful if he loses he should be ready to take up that most of us are allergic to the word failure that is where our confidence drops down all of us are allergic to the word failure the moment we know we are encountering a situation and we know there is a possibility of i may be successful i may not be a successful i may also be a failure that is when you want to say i don't want to take up this why you are allergic to the word failure if a motivator comes and he says always remember do not be allergic to the word failure because when you fail multiple times only you can see the success and behind every success there is multiple failures when i start making you understand that that is when you start realizing what he says is right and i give you lot of examples where i show there are lot of people who have failed miserably multiple times and finally they have hit the success and after they have hit the success people will not count how many failures they have done people will only see that success what they have achieved we may assume tendulkar has maximum successes in his cap but let me also say tendulkar has maximum failures in his cap also tendulkar was the only batsman who was out for zero multiple times highest number of times tendulkar was only batsman who was uh, actually out for single digit maximum number of times tendulkar was the only batsman who was out under 50 maximum number of times because tendulkar was the only batsman who also hit 100 centuries and more 50s because he was ready to actually face every situation with confidence knowing that results can be on both the sides either it can be positive either it can be negative if it is positive i'll accept it i'll continue to use the same technique if it is failure i will introspect i'll start working differently this has to be your attitude what you do you fail once you fail twice you are not confident enough to make a second or a third attempt why you say i have tried thrice if it does not happen thrice it may not happen any number of times you decide but for them he had to teach them when they lose the game he had to teach them it's okay that we lost the game but we will bounce back now coming back to this at 2020 world cup uh, the entire selection process was trying to find out the confidence in the players it was very very simple exercise they had to select one captain from the senior players and they had to select five of the senior players and they also had to select rest of them youngsters 
so what they did the management called both seniors and juniors all the seniors were put in one room like this and all the juniors in the second room they came up to the senior room and they just told as we are facing this world cup for the first time we want a captain who is confident of actually winning us this world cup who would like to become a captain a simple line none of the hands raised among the seniors when people ask saurav why no 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 this is youngsters game i would love if any of the youngsters would become the captain and uh, go ahead tendulkar he has never captain he can play himself very beautifully but the moment the captainship is given on to him he cannot handle his confidence of handling the entire team as a captain will always suffocate him so much that his performance becomes zero that they have seen and this is what you can so let us understand our strengths and weaknesses confidence is also a swot analysis of ourselves what is my strength what is my weaknesses is there any such weaknesses which i can work on is there any strengths i can develop on that is what we call swot analysis when i know there is certain weakness which i may never be able to make up let me not focus on that i'll focus on something else that is what we say confidence when we look at this actor from top to bottom nothing appears like he can become a hero when we go to the color his color is nowhere matching any of the heroes when we look at this he has an average height when we look at this family pack or a nine pack there is nothing like a family pack he has a small tummy also he doesn't have a very broad chest it looks very very lean when people looked at him they never wanted to consider him even as a side actor but none of his confidence were troubled because he knew life is not all about what all i have life is all about what can i do with whatever i have that confidence was shown by this man and today also is the highest paid actor i'm talking about rajini sir who was not even considered to be a side actor but today is a superstar why his confidence was not on what all is not there his confidence was more on what he has he had a style which nobody else had he started working on the style and that made him the leader and today there is no looking back i'll take up one more example of confidence see when it came to isro and nasa there was a small comparison made and today most of the people who are working in nasa want to come and work in isro because isro's confidence of handling things is much much high and superior compared to nasa i'll give you a simple example recently there was one mission mars when it became successful modi came and uh, when he was addressing the gathering he told that we are very happy for india's achievement of mission mars not because we were the first country who were successful in the first attempt because we did it at such a low cost less than 10 rupees per kilometer an auto person also will charge more than a 10 rupees per kilometer here i am where i was actually the total costing was less than 10 rupees per kilometer and the entire costing of our entire mission was 1 by 10th of the total cost of one of the hollywood movie then which was called as gravity when this announcement happened and they knew what was the budgeting and how it was achieved there were lot of countries who had their own satellites to be put into the orbit for various reason they could not actually consider their own countries what we call it as a satellite mission because their budgeting was very huge even us budgeting was very very huge at that moment when they realized india is capable of sending it at a very low cost in 2019 india did a beautiful record of launching 120 plus satellites in one go four to five satellites were from us us when they approach nasa for any kind of such mission nasa gave a budget of so much with that budget they could not even think of achieving it in the next 3 to 4 years they had to accumulate as much budget as possible hold on to it and finally they could launch the satellite to the orbit at that moment they saw the confidence level of indians who could send and look at the confidence to send 120 satellites that itself it's a record by itself at that cost effective manner and that confidence is what we are looking here and when this team of uh, 
seniors when they asked who would like to become the captain none of them volunteered and few of them told we don't want to be the part of the team also why because it's a 2020 match it's for youngsters it was not for the youngsters their confidence was low they were again allergic to the word failure if they are not able to actually perform definitely papers are going to write about it media is definitely going to write about it so because they were allergic to this word failure most of them restrained and few of them restrained to be even a part of the team that is when they had to select a captain from the junior group when they came to the junior group they told we have already selected the captain just to see the confidence level just to see how confident they are and what is actually uh, their confidence so they told we have already selected the captain we have already selected eight to nine players from the senior team we want to select two three from uh, you and then the team will be announced tomorrow just out of curiosity i just want to ask you if at all i have an intention of only selecting if at all i have an intention of only selecting youngsters and i want to have an youngster only as a captain who would like to captain when this yeah please please so when this question was fired immediately what happened there was one person at the last with long hair that was mr doni he just raised his hand and he told upon captainship karega look at his confidence level they even asked him ab jeet ke aaoge ya aise hi aapko captain banna hai apun jeet ke aayega and his confidence should be at the peak because after he played the first match when the team was announced only newspapers started actually putting so much negative about it what kind of team have they selected it is it does not have seniors involved in it i think seniors are considered useless uh, right now what is this my management who has selected them because they cannot discuss and tell them the seniors were not ready to be a part of the team also they can't say that and the uh, discussion continued the first match was played india lost miserably next day in all the newspaper people spoke about it when i'm talking about confidence your confidence will be tested it's not that i'm confident today that confidence will continue consistently no confidence also will have ups and downs there will be certain times in your life where your confidence is high there will be certain times in your life when confidence is low i think what the problem is okay Ah, so it is very important that you have the right kind of confidence because your confidence is not at all a confidence if it is not tested. People will test, people will ridicule it. When they ridicule, if you give up on your confidence, then you are not a leader. A leader needs to have that confidence. When Dhoni was told, paper देखो, सब लोग इतना थूका है आपके ऊपर, next match क्या करोगे? जीत क्या होगा सर? That was his confidence. And he told people, "Paper, don't see it, sir. Paper, don't show it to anyone. That's my concern. World Cup is coming. It's my responsibility. I will never return making our team a failure." He says that, and he asks not to give any paper to any of the players. And it is a rule that they follow. They will never discuss news with the players because that will hinder their confidence. So what they do, they will never discuss anything negative. There will be a coach who will come, who will actually give them gyan about confidence building, and only confidence building will happen. No negatives would be spoken to them, and after that, it was a record. They won the second match, they won the first semi, they won the semi-finals, and finally they also won the finals. And there was no looking back. The Dhoni who was considered as a captain by chance. when an opportunity was given with full confidence when he acted upon the uh, opportunity and he exhibited great performance and there was no looking back after few matches they started thinking i think dhoni would also be a very good one day international captain immediately he was given that responsibility he executed that also beautifully and after that again there was no looking back people thought that if he is able to win 2020 if he is able to win one day one internationals definitely he can win test matches and they also announced him as a test captain and this opportunity came as an young player at a very short notice because he exhibited confidence on that day those who did not exhibit confidence that doesn't mean that they were incapable i'm not saying they were incapable there were a lot of them because of their attempt they won the 
again it was not because of dhoni but dhoni's confidence was required and that made him a captain and always we say dhoni ne world cup jeet ke laya we will never say uska team responsible hai lekin dhoni ne jeet ke aaya dhoni and his team won us the 2020 world cup so in your life also you will see lot of such opportunities which knocks and it expresses you to express confidence that's so at that moment if you can show that highest level of confidence and say in respect to of in spite of the failure also being a part of the result i'm ready to take up any challenges i will show confidence in every challenges same thing happens even with the kids the son who goes to school regularly on the day of the test he also expects you to actually put in some confidence and send because he is also allergic to the word exam why exam is going to define where he stands and people are allergic to that so they don't want to go to exam he stands and you can find out that he is stand you actually call him make him sit and you start giving him in respect of whatever the test results don't worry go and perform performance should be your ultimate goal results uska goal hai aapko karm karna hai कर्म का रिजल्ट देना उसका जिम्मेदारी है कभी कभी वो देता है जो आप चाहते हो ब्यूटीफुल बी हैप्पी कभी कभी वो ये भी देता है वो जो आप नहीं चाहते हो एट दैट टाइम यू शुड नॉट बी डिस्टर्ब मोस्ट ऑफ आवर कॉन्फिडेंस इज टिल्टेड व्हेन वी फेल वन और टू टाइम्स लेट मी शेयर अ ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ आवर कॉन्फिडेंस ऑलवेज डिपेंड्स ऑन how many times i make an attempt and how many times i fail we will never realize it is not the success which gave us a success it is this multiple failures which gave me that success uh, here is a beautiful story uh, we have these uh, hotels a uh, very small hotels in bangalore we call them as udupi hotels because most of the people are those who have come from udupi and established these hotels there was one boy from udupi uh, and youth uh, he considered himself a very smart boy or a smart man he comes to bangalore and he did not have enough cash he only had 50 rupees but somehow he wanted to have a full breakfast with that 50 rupees he goes up to one of the hotel and uh, the hotel owner only was at the cash he asks him are you the owner of the hotel he says yes i am the owner of this hotel uh, do you have vadas which can satisfy my hunger he says yes we have vadas which can satisfy your hunger also it can satisfy your taste also you have told me only if it satisfy my hunger i'll going to pay you it's okay ours are very very tasty and it will satisfy anybody's hunger please go on sit he goes and he sits and before starting he says how much is one plate vada he says 30 rupees and coffee 20 rupees vada and coffee 20 rupees he checks i have 50 rupees one plate vada is 30 rupees one coffee is 20 rupees i have 50 rupees today i am going to eat like i have never eaten earlier and he again says sir you have promised that your vada is going to satisfy both hunger and also taste he says yes and he says one plate vada give him one plate of vada one plate of vada comes chutney also and sambar also he picks up and he completes it after completing the vada he looks at the owner and says very very tasty but hunger, hunger is not satisfied he again says owner is happy because he's getting more business hey inon plate vada kodre and again new plate of vada the plate is taken a new plate comes again with fresh chutney fresh sambar and one more vada he eats that vada and he looks at the owner and says very very tasty but hunger not satisfied owner is still more happier he orders for the third plate of vada third plate of vada also is hunger is not satisfied because vada was very very small fourth also fifth also sixth also seventh also the story in personality development is called as saptvada concept saptvada means seventh or in english we call it as nth vada concept after eating six vadas is under is still not satisfied the owner is very happy because one customer is eating seven vadas seven ones are seven seven twos are fourteen seven threes are twenty one two hundred and ten rupees of business he looks at the vada man he says yen vada martiya maga ivat nimge nur rupay ichke He's happy, and he also t- t- tells him this month I'll give you hundred rupees more. And then he orders him one more plate of vada. Every time the vada comes, what is this Udupi man is doing? He's dividing the vada into four parts. He picks up the first vada, dips in both, he has it, and then the next, and then the next. When he picks up the first one and he puts it into his mouth and he's chewing, and as soon as he gulps, he feels like his 
stomach is full. If he eats one more piece, instead of log in, log out will happen. So knowing that what he says, he looks at the owner and says, Sir, stomach full. Then he is also happy. Tinbidi sir, adondo, illa agalla. Sir, bibidi sir, parvayla. Okay, coffee sir, ah, one glass coffee. One glass coffee comes, he has his coffee, he comes to the counter, he pays him 50 rupees and he starts walking. As soon as he starts walking, this owner goes and catches him and says, Sir, what 50 rupees? 210 plus 20 rupees, 230 rupees. Sir, 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 you are going back by your word. What did I say? I asked you whether your vada can satisfy my hunger. You told my vada can satisfy your taste also and hunger also. All your vada satisfied my taste. But none of the vadas was capable of satisfying my hunger. And the seventh vada, na, that satisfied my hunger. That means only that small portion has satisfied my hunger. I thought it won't be right for me to give a one quarter of the total amount of the vada. But still, though I have not eaten that seventh vada, I paid you completely for that seventh vada. Now we will stop the, uh, the discussion here. All of us also have the same. I am seeking for promotion, I am seeking for promotion, I will try, I will try, I will try. Your confidence is high. You fail three times, your confidence becomes damar. You wanted to go on the public speaking dais and then speak. First time you come, you are not able to speak properly. Second time you come, you are not able to speak properly. Third time you come, you are not able to speak properly. And then you decide for my life long, I am never going to speak. That means you are damar. You don't know which is your end vada. Maybe for your friend, third one is his nth vada. For you, it may be fifth. For him, it may be seventh. So none of us know which is the nth vada for us. Because God doesn't create duplicates. He creates uniqueness. It is very difficult to come to a conclusion. For you, so many practices can bring up confidence. For you, only this practice can bring you confidence. So all of us are unique. You should ask yourself, how can I develop my confidence? And then you will have to start working. When I have developed my confidence, then it will be easy for me to develop others' confidence. A leader or a captain will be brought down from the captainship when his performance drops. When Tendulkar's performance dropped miserably when he became a captain, that is when they removed that stress on him that he had to manage so many people somehow he felt very confident about himself he could not feel the same confidence about others so what happened the actually what we call it as that simple energy drive stopped and he was not able to manage it beautifully so being a leader and being a captain and being a coach Confidence is not for the outside world also. Self-confidence is also important. He has to believe in himself. He has to believe in the team. And then he has to believe in the project. So confidence has to be exhibited. Visionaries are those people who can see confidence in people. And let me take up one more beautiful example. This and that will always remain the same. Here also, it is that father's confidence which actually makes him take up such a strong decision that girls also can bristle. He was from such a village where girls were never allowed to come out, but he dares himself telling, come what may, my girls are going to fight and they are going to win medals. And that is what he actually does. It requires confidence. And whatever he had confidence, they also started experiencing that confidence. How will a leader become a leader? Your subordinates, your colleagues should see that leadership skills in you. You should see that confidence in you. When you yourself fall on confidence, they will never look up to it. They will automatically give up. So it's very important you should exhibit confidence, even if it is a false confidence. That's the reason we say when it is going to be a team which is going to perform, if you are not confident, please at least exhibit being confident. That will motivate enough the team and the team will definitely give you positive results. It's important. So we will start speaking about that. And when we talk about this man who has expressed confidence in multiple places, there is no looking back at all. In Uri's surgical strike, the kind of confidence what he expressed, it's amazing. And when for the first time demonetization had to be done. When you look at the finance principles which the entire world follows, it is a simple rule which says that the notes that has been regularly used need to be stopped.
stopped at one particular point and new notes had to be printed so that duplication or misuse of notes shall not happen. It's a common rule. But to take up that call, it requires a lot of confidence. And this man was ready to take up that call knowing if something fails also, let me take up that responsibility. And for that reason, he still admired him. He told, Ab karo jo hoga, dekha Apan hai. During the time of COVID, it was a big responsibility to start vaccination drive, to start such mass vaccination. It was never an easy task. But this man had so much of confidence, it shall happen. To bring us together, to build up confidence, what all he did, it may look very tricky, but all of this as a reason behind it, people are doing research, how such a highly populated country, which should have experienced multiple deaths, did not even experience the deaths which was anticipated. They are still thinking and they are doing a research to find out how was it so neatly managed. Let me give you a simple example. During the time of polio or epilepsy, what we call leprosy, uh, in the state, we will take up one city only, Calcutta. It hit, the pandemic hit so badly that every house had a body which was kept outside and the patient was made to lie outside and they came inside. That was the condition. That means when somebody is sick, take him and throw him out and others stay indoor. That is animalistic living. Why? The governments then did not know how to handle this. And do you know what some of the papers wrote? Some of the big economic times of India, I am talking about economic times of US, they wrote India and Sri Lanka are going to ex experience such a death that every road will have hundreds of such dead bodies lying on the streets, nobody to take care of them patients lying on the streets, nobody is going to take care of them. But you will be surprised that everything happened in the reverse. When somebody was sick, he was kept inside. Somebody who was healthy, he was sent outside. And somebody when he was sick, he was kept inside and every care was taken so that he is not going to spread down to others and is eating, drinking and nature call by taken care. So that is the kind of management what happened. And he has to be too confident to exhibit that. And when they thought of actually vaccinating, even today they are finding it very difficult how they could vaccinate so many people and even keep the records of it. Our uh, defense minister, when he happened to go to uh, New York, he and his son were having a small uh, breakfast in a restaurant. At that time, restaurant had a rule that you had to show that you were vaccinated. The restaurant came up to his son, who is a citizen of United States of America, and uh, they asked him, uh, yeah, uh, can I see your vaccination papers? His son opened his uh, bag, he had to search for the vaccination paper, he picked up that vaccination uh, paper and he had to hand over. When the same thing was asked to this the defense minister, what he did, he just opened his app, he opened that COVID app and he just showed. That person was stunned. You Indians have a digital record. We Americans are still having hard copy record. Where are we and where are you? That requires what is called as confidence. When this man exhibited so many among these things, it requires confidence. And when this lady wanted to start free hospitals all over the world, it was not ordinary confidence that had to be there in her. It was not an ordinary belief system that had to be in her. A faith and a belief and a confidence which is no match for anybody. That was her vision. And there was no looking back. Within a span of 20, 25 years, she had missionaries of charity, hospitals started all over the world, in all the continents. Name the country where it was not there. You will never find a country where missionaries of charity did not go start their hospitals. That is the belief system what she had. That is the confidence level what she had. Even people ridiculed her confidence. Let me take up one such example. It so happened that uh, she was working as a school teacher who came in an exchange program. She knew that one day she had to go back to her place, but she got so much attached towards the people here and she started feeling for people who were suffering. That was the time when leprosy was at the peak and uh, people were thrown out of the house when they experienced this disease and they wanted their family to be kept safe, so all the patients were driven out. 
and in that time she wanted to help as many people as possible and she decides come what may i am going to start free hospitals he goes up to the principal and she says uh, sir uh, here is my resignation letter i give you this resignation letter because i want to start free hospitals for uh, uh, these uh, such suffering uh, people and uh, the principal looks at her and gives a sarcastic smile and says do you know what is going to be a cost of starting a small clinic you are saying you are going to start hospitals to handle lakhs of patients do you think it is even possible look at her confidence she says it is possible but he says you do like this i'll hold on to this resignation you go you try you sincerely try i'm not going to come between you and what you want to do but if you cannot you can always come back i'll hold the resignation letter here she picks up a penny and she talks to the principal and says sir with this penny and me on my side i think miracles are possible and one of that miracle is i'm going to start hospitals for each and every one of them here you keep the resignation letter i'll keep this penny and she continues so that is the confidence level what you will have to exhibit only when you exhibit that confidence you can achieve among this things is confidence also she should be is a questionable confidence because when everybody is going in this track he wanted to go in the reverse track very difficult huh? all the buses are going like this you dare to go in the reverse direction you cannot you will not even think of going like this and this man went on to a journey for more than 25 years in the reverse direction yes he was completely disturbed when he was thrown out of that moving train in south africa only two thought process came to him one he was so much depressed his confidence dropped to negative that he decided i will commit suicide i don't want to live this humiliation humiliated life and then he also gets one more confidence that he decides and he says i'm not only going to chase this britishers out of the south africa i'm going to chase them out of my india also that is when he takes the call and he wanted to do exactly reverse of what they did they expressed such high level of cruelty he says i'm going to chase them not with that highest level of cruelty i'm going to do it with what is called as ahimsa i'm not going to see to it that a blood is going to be shed to get my freedom back i'll get the freedom back with ahimsa he comes when he starts telling it to a group of people everybody ridiculed him everybody ridiculed him nobody was ready to accept it it's going to be possible but he did not give up we are ready to give up you can see our confidence assuming one of the participant is walking here and i am trying to build up his confidence or i am going to damage his confidence both i can do dent his confidence or build up his confidence on a positive note i look at him what's wrong with you are you sick what's wrong with you then he says he starts thinking am i sick i'm not sick he was coming like this slowly he becomes like this then one more i would have trained you to tell that he also looks up what's wrong with you dark circles all over something happened to you and then he was so confident he becomes like this few more of you will say what's wrong with you is something seriously wrong with you you should have gone to the doctor right now don't attend the class go go to a doctor and come he will faint then only why we dented his confidence and we brought it down brought it down brought it down as we start bringing it down he gets dented confidence will be disturbed like that when such things happen are you strong enough to neutralize all such negatives that is going to come on to you is the most important lesson for today how to build confidence because every time you exhibit confidence there are 10 people to pull your leg every time modi wanted to take a call there were 10 people nay there were thousand of them wanted to pull his leg but giving up all that pulling when you can stand on you then a ordinary mahatma gandhi can become very mohandas karamchand gandhi can become father of nation so he did not give up when people told him no bapu aap kya baat kar rahe ho do you know who britishers are they are exhibiting highest level of cruelty and you are telling we are going to chase them out with ahimsa it's not going to work bapu 
he went to the other he kept on telling he went to the other he kept on telling he went to the other he kept on telling and telling and telling and telling and afterwards there was no looking back the entire world followed him today the world remembers when we talk about ahimsa only one name comes into our mind that is mahatma gandhi mohandas karamchand gandhi because of the confidence that he exhibited you want look at this confidence na chanakya's confidence is amazing so as a leader when we will have to train somebody to become a leader we say everything is possible there is nothing impossible why there is an impossibility in your mind is because you have that small ego everything is been done by you all of us sometimes lose confidence because we start believing that everything till now has happened because of me no ask yourself can you even wink your eye without die will no so this guy उदाहरण लगता है सो so, उसी एग्जाम्पल को तो, 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 थोड़ा सा रिवर्स डायरेक्शन में इफ आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज आई गिव यू एस सिंपल एग्जाम्पल योर कॉन्फिडेंस इज बिल्ड बाई द सराउंडिंग्स आप जहाँ पे अपना परवरिश आपका होता है उस सराउंडिंग में आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डअप होता है इफ यू आर बींग ब्रॉट अप इन ए ट्राइबल एनवायरमेंट एंड यू नो एनी एनिमल कैन बी सिंपली किल्ड बाई जस्ट अ बो एंड आरो यू कैन हैव दैट कॉन्फिडेंस एंड यू कैन कंसिस्टेंटली कीप यूजिंग इट but you take up a very strong person from the urban life take him into the tribal life and tell him i will take away the gun and i will give you a bow and arrow you can also kill just like him it it does not happen because its belief system is not going to match so most of our, us are a product of our belief system most of us are a product of our surrounding belief system if i am a son of a doctor if at home everybody keeps on speaking uh, doctor hi karna hai doctor hi karna hai doctor hi karne se bahut acha job mil jata hai hum log doctor hi karne wale hai family hai sab log doctor hi karenge you won't talk to him at any point of time he says hey doctor hi karna hai aapko kya karna hai doctor hi karna hai why are you asking me this my father is a doc- doctor my mother is a doctor i'm be doctor banenge unhe bolo army mein job he no army dar lagta hai you come to an army please father is in army mother is in army grandpa is in army grandma was also in army uncles are in army and there's uh, all aunts are also in army somewhere uh, here and there and you try to look at the confidence level and you ask him what do you want to become i want to become an army man do you know every day you will have to face an encounter between life and death yes are you not afraid of death no why because my father was not afraid my mother was not afraid so definitely i will also not be afraid of death so we are the product of the belief system sometimes it will be so fruitful that your thinking itself will start becoming higher and higher but if you are picked up from there and if you are brought into some place where you think that is not going to be possible to build up that confidence it's not going to be easy there are a lot of stories where they say bachpan mein jo judwa beta tha एक जुड़वा इज गोइंग टू एक्चुअली वो खो जाता है खोने के बाद वो एक डेकॉय के यहाँ मिलता है और एक खो जाता है वो इंस्पेक्टर के पास मिलता है एंड द दोनों का माँ अलग है लेकिन क्या होता है योर कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल एंड योर वे ऑफ लिविंग योर सिस्टम इज कम्प्लीटली डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट सराउंडिंग दिस पर्सन बिकम्स द बेस्ट थिंग एंड दिस पर्सन बिकम्स द बेस्ट inspector and when these people encounter also you cannot make him believe this is right this person cannot be made believe this is right but how will i build up that confidence it takes time but you can build up that confidence for for that we share this beautiful example of how do we build confidence in people uh, if a person is like that i will take up a simple example uh, it is a story of a, a parrot both husband and wife parrot were living in a forest all of a sudden what happened one day because it was raining they had given birth to two kids 
because it was raining the father told uh, i think it is going to rain continuously for next one week let me go on get some food which we can uh, preserve and reserve it for next one week and the father is out when the father goes out when the father does not return by the time it is evening mother is also worried so mother wanted to go and look out for a father so what she says both the kids you are not going to make any trouble you be wherever you are i will go i will look for your father maybe he needs my help i will come back he again wants them you are not going to break any of the rules you are not going to go out but irrespective of whatever she says these guys are going to break the rules that's how our confidence level is when moms and dads are not there do all that which we have never done before so when mom is also out both the parents will decide let us try flying how mom flies how dad flies mom and dad will never allow us to fly they say our feathers are not strong how can they say our feathers are not strong look how strong it is they try to do like this many times it works they also do the same thing standing on both the legs and then doing this is very easy but flying and doing this is completely different experience which they never had so both of them will say we will try so a little elder one we will say i will try first he walks on to the branch and he flies and he falls younger brother thought his brother has already flew and he has gone to another batch but he went he did it for some time afterwards he lost the strength and he fell down as soon as he fell down there were a group of sadhus who were walking there when this group of sadhus were just walking there they saw this parrot falling down so one of the disciples picked up the uh, parrot and he went up to the guruji and told guruji i think a parrot has fallen down if we leave it here unattended uh, uh, it is going to be eaten by somebody uh, can we take it the guruji says no look for any nest here so that we can drop it there they search because it was very dark they don't find any nest that they say okay we will carry it and they carry it and the other bird which thought our brother has already flown he will also try to jump but he is also not able to uh, reach the other branch he also falls down tapak at that moment a group of decoys were just walking by when this group of decoys were walking by they see this parrot falling the anger one one of the uh, thief there he picks up this parrot and he goes up to the uh, decoy and says sa sa sab ji parrot hai aap khane ka kaam aayega ha cage mein lagao dekha jayega they put him into the cage and they take him but when they take to that place the same one of the thief will come up to him and says sa sa sab ji wo parrot humne nikala na ki kya uska khana bana le then he looks at the, the parrot and the parrot looks very uh, tiny very small he says iska kya aaya pet nahi bharega paisa karo use aise hi rakh rakh lo kuch kaam aayega rakh lo it is been kept and there is another parrot which is with the sadhus that is also growing both mother and father when they come back when the mother comes back when the father has not returned after some time father also will come back both of them are searching for the kids and they are not able to find somehow after this rainy season they wanted to search for their kids they keep on searching 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 they are not able to find one month passes one and a half month passes two months is done after two months somebody says from their uh, family members only we saw one parrot was there with a group of uh, sadhus and i am 100% sure that is your son only so what this mother and father parrot want to do they want to come and pick it up so they come there as they are coming they see a group of village flocks they are just walking by when they are walking by this decoys who are hiding on the side of the trees on the top of the trees from there one parrot starts shouting he is actually calling his master oh master oh master there are a group of villagers who are passing by they i think it is a marriage flock okay come it's a talking parrot we'll assume uh, come let us kill them and take all their ornaments this has been told by the parrot the mother who sees that parrot she is surprised and she is able to identify her son's voice she looks at her son and says how can he be my son he is actually telling kill the people and take all their ornaments i love you my never had a son i will never be uh, want my son also back i don't want to see my other son also if he is in this condition what is elder brother could be so they try to come back as they are flying back they see that ashram 
In that ashram, the same people who were injured by these dacoits, as they were coming back, they also find this ashram. As soon as the ashram is nearing, one more, the younger one, the parrot, he also starts shouting. Uh, he calls it as Guruji. Oh, Guruji, 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 I think there are a group of uh, village flocks who are just walking by. I think they are being attacked by the decoys. They are injured. Uh, they need our assistance. C come, let us all help. And all the sadhus come. They keep helping. They keep helping. The same parents will start feeling so happy about them. Now we will stop the discussion there. Now, when we look at the confidence, his confidence and his confidence depends on the surrounding. It is very difficult for me to actually make that bird believe that honesty is very important, helping people is very important. But if I seriously want to do, it is possible. How do I do it? I will have to go talk to those decades, assuming I pick up that parrot, come and make him stay with the sadhus. First day transformation will not happen. Second day transformation will not happen. He wants non-veg only. Otherwise he will not eat. Third day it will not happen. Fourth day it will not happen. Fifth day it will not happen. But slowly after consistently doing it for many number of days and many number of months, when one or two years pass, slowly this person also gets transformed. So confidence building can be done. But for that, right kind of inputs has to be given. If somebody consistently gives input that our only occupation is killing people and stealing them, he will consistently follow that. Our only occupation is helping people. He will consistently follow that. So all of us are the product of our belief system. So that belief system is what brings us confidence. For a non-vegetarian, to make him vegetarian, you don't require a strong belief system. But for a vegetarian to transform into non-vegetarian is highly impossible because his belief system, his confidence level will never accept that he could also eat non-veg. But somehow you make him realize you have already eaten non-veg in the form of eggs, you have already eaten non-veg in the form of uh, uh, what we call it as fruit cakes and others, then slowly he may start thinking, okay, only having egg may be my for first approach and slowly after that he may convert himself into non veg So that way, building confidence has to be a part of uh, the story, what we told. Now, why I was talking about Chanakya was, Chanakya definitely fights with this king, the, the Dhananandana, that was his name. But he challenges him and he says, anybody can become a good Chakravarti. Then pick up one of them and make them a Chakravarti. That is a challenge that is thrown onto him. But look at his confidence, he had to pick up an young boy named Chandragupta and who was only 12 to 13 years old and he had to build up that confidence in this Ch Chandragupta. That confidence had to be built up and then he had to, a person who is a slum, who has been born and brought up in slum from 1 year to 13 years, he is going to be picked up and he will have to change his mindset. His mindset has to be changed, his confidence has to be changed, telling that he is not being made to rule, he is being actually, he is not being made to being ruled, he should be ruling. To tell that and for this boy to digest, it is an impossible task. That is the reason whenever we talk about confidence building, we say if you can study the teachings of Chanakya, you will automatically know how to build confidence. So, this person is going to convert this Chandragupta Maurya who always thought that I am going to live as a slum boy and I am going to die as a slum man. He transforms him and he makes him the ruler of a new dynasty called as Maurya dynasty. And for that, he requires a lot of confidence and he has imbibed a lot of confidence into Chanakya. It was not that he did not actually experience downs. Most of the time, he would have felt what kind of person I have selected. Every time when this person, Chandragupta, broke his anticipation, his expectation, he was shattered. Janaka was shattered. He was disturbed, but he did not give up. He had to self pep himself and then go to the next level of self pepping them. So it is two responsibilities. One is bring confidence in yourself. And the next is try to bring confidence in with the audience. So both had to be done. This is one. Uh, when we talk about confidence building, in order to build a confidence, you need what is called as clear goals. 
when there is clear goals it is very easy to build up confidence the day he met chandragupta maurya this end boy he tells him i'm going to make you an emperor you are going to do all this he was ready the goal was already set there was no reason that the goal was changed for him a goal was set and every day he was sincerely working towards the goal and it happened but when we have to look at the definition what is confidence building confidence building is trying to build an inner drive for that success in every situation that you encounter now how many of you can walk out comfortably after this class everybody would say sir all of us can do now what i will say i will allow you to walk up with blindfolded you will say yes but you will have to walk within maximum count of 15 seconds normal walking will take 10 seconds but at least by 15 seconds you will have to walk out blindfolded now your confidence comes down it is not just going to be blindfolded nobody is going to instruct you also can you do it confidence still comes down most of you wanted to raise your hand now you will start thinking you are actually weighing your confidence and you are seeing how much is the success ratio here and then if i say not only that before you could start your journey i'm going to blindfold you i'm going to turn you 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 when somebody is turned 10 times you can't walk normally only with your eyes open also because your entire equilibrium of how your entire gravity is making you stand will be disturbed can you do it all of you will say no impossible why your confidence has gone down and down and down now why did it come down i just told you you will have to go and open express confidence go and do if you don't find but at least i am happy you expressed confidence how many of you can captain or ready to captain the first 2020 world cup assuming we want to choose the captain from the junior team all the hands should have been raised because there were people who had much much more experience than dhoni who were sitting there in the junior team only yuvraj was much much more experienced than dhoni there were a lot of other youngsters but none of them dared to raise their hand because they were allergic to this word failure and their confidence was low and there was no way looking back but after the world cup was won when people asked them most of them told i feel repentful because on that day i did not raise my hand it was not that i was not capable i was capable but my confidence was low it is not dhoni was capable no dhoni had never exhibited any such experience but his confidence was high so he become successful i don't become successful most of you when you actually climb the ladder of success your ladder of success is actually happening because of your confidence not because of how many success and failures you have experienced it is because of your confidence that one day i'm going to hit the success and you consistently keep climbing knowing that failure may happen and failure is an event it is not me if you say thomas alva edison failure is not going to be an event it is you who has failed then thomas alva edison says if that would have been the case i wouldn't have invented 1024 inventions in my cap because let me share every invention i would have made 9999 attempts and i would have failed on the 10000 attempt i would have actually got the result but i will not consider myself failure i'll consider that event is a failure your confidence has to be separated like that most of you when the event fails you fail yourself but you should always separate it and say that event was a failure let me try once more one more time in a different way maybe i will get results but that smartness has to be there you can't go under a mango tree and say apples fall apples fall apples fall i'm confident i'll do worship apple will fall apple will fall apple will fall no mangoes only will fall if you want to change be smart enough just like what sir told you should be smart enough also to exhibit that character most of the time we say lion is a very brave animal but there are a lot of incidents where a clever wolf or a who is that uh, clever wolf only na a ah uh, fox a clever fox most of the time it has actually fooled a lion multiple times it has happened so it does not mean that is smartness consistency is the result 
when there was a race between a tortoise and a hare, it was tortoise confidence which actually gave him that winning attitude. Otherwise, if you were a tortoise, according to the strengths of you, you wouldn't have participated in the race only. Why? Because we are very sure that we are going to fail. Most of us, when we encounter any kind of a challenges, always remember participating in the challenge itself is a winning attitude. Your confidence has to be, let me participate with complete sincerity and results I will leave it to God. But I will be happy that I really did participate sincerely. So Dhoni participated in every such opportunity, Modi participated in every such opportunity, even when I am talking about Chak De, that coach participated in every such opportunity and there was no looking back, Dhoni participated in every such opportunity, Tendulkar participated in every such opportunity and there was no looking back. A tribal woman, Draupadi Murumu, participated in every such opportunity, there was no looking back. Forget about being a president now. For the first time when she wanted to come out and speak in front of so-called boys, it was a difficult task. People looked at her, Aurat ko idhar kaam kya hai, andar jao. But she dared enough to come there and then stand. If she wasn't daring enough, she did not show that confidence to stand among their own small group of four or five people, among the relatives, she wouldn't have expanded that comfort zone. And that wouldn't have made her expand her comfort zone. All of us, we don't exhibit improvement in our confidence because we are sitting in a comfort zone and we are safe in the comfort zone and we are never expanding our comfort zone. What I mean by comfort zone? I do whatever I was doing yesterday. I will not do anything which is much, much more bigger than yesterday. Because why? I am allergic to this word failure. I will never show that confidence. A person who consistently shows confidence, you will see his growth rate is always consistently going high. Otherwise, what happens? A chaiwala will die as a chaiwala. A school teacher will die as a school teacher. A school teacher will not become Mother Teresa. A chaiwala will not become the greatest prime minister. A tribal woman will never become the president. And a fisherman's son will never become an astronaut. They became an astronaut because they challenged their confidence every now and then on a daily basis. Before going to bed, there should be an introspection that you and me will have to do. All of us are born equals. The greatest gift God has given us is, all of us are born equals. But the written gift that we will have to give unto God is, we should not die as equals. We should do something among us for which that guy has to feel proud that, yes, I can help him. I have given the right human life to him and this guy has used it to the fruitfulness. That is the confidence you should have. Talking about confidence, somebody asked uh, Abdul Kalam after he became a president and his term was over and he had nothing else to achieve in life. P people went up to him, you know these media people, they always want to ask very fishy questions and they went up to Abdul Kalam sir and he told, sir now that you have also become the president of uh, India and uh, you have done a phenomenal job, uh, now, now that you are in the end of your journey, sorry for asking this, do you have any of your last wishes that this is what I want to achieve? Abdul Kalam with a smile in his face he told me, yes, thanks for asking because I couldn't, I wouldn't have shared it without somebody asking me. I always loved teaching, irrespective of whatever jobs I went, I always loved teaching. My prayers to him and confidence, look at this confidence, my prayers to him. I should take up my last breath teaching somebody something. That is my ultimate goal of my life. And he consistently kept on this confidence going higher and higher and higher. Your confidence is what tells him I should bless him like this. That's all. Nothing is going to happen because of you. Always remember anything that happens because of he and you put together. Nothing is going to happen just because of you. You cannot imagine that I can stand just on my own will. No, on your own strength, you cannot even wink your eye. Everything is happening because of thy will. But he cannot without you and you cannot without him. Most of the time, you brought your confidence down because you forgot all these years it was he and you put together who were executing. If you don't believe in your strength, forget it. At least believe in his strength who is there in you. Who was Modi? If you just go 25-30 years back, Modi was a very ordinary karikarta like you and me. 
and he has walked in all the streets of bangalore also i have so many photos of his and you would never would even imagine that this guy is going to become a prime minister who is a tribal woman their own family members did not respect their own family members did not think that she can even go out of that forest and do something and that lady is traveling all over the world being the president of actually india that was only because of that confidence and they believe that everything is happening because of him you will have to believe in, in that that's all that is called called as confidence and it so happened when the abdul kalam sir was addressing a university group of students he was talking and talking and talking in nails and he collapses there and with a smile in his face he has taken his last breath again all that happened because of the confidence what he showed so after 11 we will also look at still more confidence without clear goals even you confuse him more if right now if i come up to you forget about confidence i know all of your confidence to tell me what is your aim of life i'm actually asking your confidence of what you want to achieve in your life most of us have not decided at all generally we will say bachchon ka parvarish bachchon ka parvarish in your absence also it shall happen but you have already decided mera life to ho gaya there is nothing looking back and reframing and looking for new opportunities and you have made up your mind jo chal raha hai usi ko chalane do achhi tarike se chalayenge acha health rakhenge aise hi life guzar jayega no that is not confidence how would you like to die i should be addressing a group of people and as i 